morning children. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Yes. Today is our EBS class. In EBS what we are discussing about the fourth lesson. The fourth lesson is about my body. Okay children? Yes. So my body, our body has many parts and each part has a different name. We discussed in the earlier class. Yes? Yes. So, in the earlier class, we discussed only the upper part of our body. What are the parts we learned? Head, forehead, eyes, nose, mouth, teeth, tongue, ears, neck, shoulders, arms, elbow, hand, finger. Yes? These are the parts we discussed in the earlier class. So, our eyes are useful to watch and see. And our nose is useful to smell. Mouth is used to talk. Teeth are to chew the food. Tongue is to taste. Ears are to hear. Neck. We use neck for moving our head side to side. Side up and down. Yes? For shoulders, how we will use shoulders? We will carry our bags by using shoulders. Hand is useful for different works, for writing, for holding things. Yes? Yes. Okay. In each hand, we will have five fingers. In two hands, we are having ten fingers. Okay. Thumb finger, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger. Okay. Yes. So today let us learn about the continuation of my body. That is, we should, know, we should learn about lower part of our body. So we are going to learn about lower part of our body. Okay, children. Yes. So our legs are in the lower part of our body. Each leg has a knee and a foot. Each foot has five toes and an ankle and a heel. Okay, children. Yes. So you know the legs. We are having our legs in the lower part of our body. And each leg is having knee. This is the knee. That is called knee. K and E. Knee. Okay? Yes. And a foot. Foot and a kingdom and a father. That is foot. We we'll have foot in the lower part of our body. We have leg. For the leg, we have one knee and one foot. Each foot has five toes. In English, we learned that leg fingers are called as toes. Do you remember? We learned in a poem. Yes. So, the fingers we are having for legs, those fingers are called toes. So, each foot will have five toes. And an ankle and a heel. Ankle means for hand we are having elbow like that. For leg also we will have one elbow type. But it is not elbow, it is called an ankle. By using that ankle only we can rotate our leg. That is called ankle. And heel means a back part of our foot is called heel. Okay children? Yes. See, I will show here. This back part of our leg is called as heel and this joint of leg is called as ankle. These leg fingers are called as toes. This completely is called as foot and these are knee. So each leg is having one knee, one foot and in the foot we are having one ankle, five toes, one heel. So two legs they are having two foot, two feet, okay? Okay? Yes. Next. Sense or God. 
So we completed the upper part of our body, lower part of our body. Now we came to the sense of the arms. Do you know children what is in the sense of the arms? Yes, now I will tell you. S E N S E sense. O R G A N S of the arms. Sense of the arms. Okay? Yes. We have five sense organs. How many sense organs we are having? Five sense organs. What are they means? Number one. Eyes. Ears. Nose. Here is the picture study. 
What is this figure? What is the picture we are seeing here first one? What is that? It's a pencil. P E N C I L. Pencil. What do you you What do you use this for? Why you will use pencil to write? Yes. Yes, you need this pencil to write. For then, which part of your body helps you to use it? With which part you will use pencil to write? A tiny hand, a feet, a feet, ear, ear, hand. So you take this A option. Okay? Yes. Next to page two hundred and nineteen. Here we are having the filling the blanks. First one, our ears help us to dash, breathe, hear, show. For which purpose will use our ears? Hear. So you have to pick the option here. You have to write in the dash. Second one, we have dash sense organs. How many sense organs we are having? Five. So. Five hundred. Next, we walk with our dash. With which part do we walk? Hands, eyes, legs, legs. Next, two of us. First one, our legs are in the upper part of our body. Here we are having our legs. No, we are having legs in the lower part of our body. So it is false. Wrong is false. We hear with the help of our skin. We hear with the help of our skin, children. No, false. Teeth are placed inside the mouth. Yes, teeth are placed inside the mouth, so it's correct. True. We have three arms. Oh my God, we're having three arms, three hands. No, only two. So it is false. Okay. Yes. Okay, children? Okay. Thank you.